Good morning, children. How are you doing this morning? I hope you had a very good night's sleep. I hope you've had an enjoyable, yummy breakfast. Are we going to clap for our moms and dads for looking after us? This morning, Auntie has some interesting Bible story to teach us from God's Word. So can we open our hearts and just learn from God's Word together? Are you ready to do that? Very good. Before we open our Bibles, before we have our exciting lesson, we need to pray to God. So should we put our hands together? Should we bow our heads and close our eyes? Very good. Heavenly Father, we thank you because we are alive today. We thank you for keeping us safe. We thank you for giving us food to eat. We thank you for protecting us. We thank you for our brothers, moms, grandmas, dads, aunties, and everyone in our families. Lord, we give you praise and honor. We also thank you for everyone in our church. Lord, we bless and worship you today. Father, we ask that even as we learn about you in your word, that you will teach us in the name of Jesus. Give us ears that are listening, a heart that understands and a mind to do what your word says. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I'm so excited this morning and I'm sure that you are. Before we do our Bible story, I just wanted us to do a song and remind ourselves that we are special children to God. Are you ready? I am a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Jesus makes me a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Are you a blessed child? I am a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Jesus makes me a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Can you sing with me? Should we all sing together? Let's go. I am a blessed child. Hands on your chest. Let's go. I am a blessed child. Jesus makes me a blessed child. I am a blessed child. We thank God because we are all blessed children and it's Jesus that makes us blessed. Last week, when Auntie taught us, she told us a story about a king that didn't do what God wanted. And he got his kingdom taken away from him and God was very sad. But we are going to be children that listen to God and make God happy and make God proud of us and make God smile because we're going to do what God wants us to to do. Now, one of the things that God wants us to do is to obey our parents. God wants us to obey our parents because it makes him happy. Can I see some smiley faces? That is how God is happy when we obey our parents. He wants us to obey our parents in everything all the time because when we obey our parents in everything and all the time, God is pleased. We're going to do our memory verse this morning. It's taken from the book of Colossians 3 verse 20. What did auntie say? Colossians 3 20. And what does it say? I'm ready with my flashcard. Are you ready children to read after me? Let's go. It says children obey your parents. Should we take it again from the top? Children obey your parents parents in everything for this pleases the Lord for this pleases the Lord auntie is going to repeat it from the top and I want you to say it after me are we ready children children obey your parents in everything for this pleases the Lord for this pleases the Lord. What does it mean to please God? It means God is happy with us. God blesses us when we obey our parents. And I'm sure that we want to do what makes God happy, isn't it? Very good. Now we're going to learn about someone who 
disobeyed God at the end. But in the beginning, he didn't. And it's a story of Jonah. It's a story of who? Jonah. We're going to learn about Jonah. Now, Jonah was a man that used to do what God wanted him to do. He was a prophet. So God will send him on errands to different people to tell them and give them instructions. On this day, God told Jonah to go to the people of Nineveh and preach to them and tell them that the things they were doing was wrong. When Jonah had the instruction, he didn't want to obey God. He just thought, hmm, God told me to go to Nineveh. I'm not going to do that. And he instead went to another city, which is called Tashish. He got on a boat and sailed to Tashish. While he was on the boat sleeping, because he was just happy to disobey God, then there became oh, waves, lots of waves, and the ship was shaken, and everyone on the ship was, became afraid. But Noah, Jonah was sleeping. He was sleeping soundly on the boat. And then the men came and said, what's wrong? Everyone's afraid because the boat is shaking everywhere. Then Jonah remembered that, oh, he had disobeyed God. And in his mind, he knew that it was because he disobeyed God that the ship was shaking and everything. So he asked the men to throw him out of the ship and put him into the water. <gasps> what happened to Jonah? Did he get drowned? No. God prepared a whale. And the whale swallowed Jonah up into his mouth. And Jonah had to spend three nights three nights should we count to three one two three nights in the belly of the whale when he was sat in the in the belly of the whale he was doing lots of thinking he was thinking how did i get here why am i here and then he realized that it was because he had disobeyed god so he begged god he prayed to god and he said god i'm really sorry for what i've done please forgive me i'm going to do your instructions immediately and so the fish spat him out onto dry land. And as soon as Jonah got on the land, he went immediately to the city of Nineveh. He went to give them God's instructions. Now, Auntie is going to show you the pictures from her Bible storybook. Can you see the whale? It's a big whale, isn't it? Can you see Jonah in the water? Can you see the ship? Can you see the waves of the sea? These are all from Auntie's Bible story book. These are all from the Bible. That's the big whale. It spat Jonah out on the next page. And immediately, Jonah went to the people of Nineveh. He obeyed God. That's an interesting story, isn't it? It sounds like some of the things that we also might do when mom or dad or any of our adults tell us to do certain things and we think no i'm not going to do that or we don't obey immediately sometimes we get punished don't we sometimes we have to sit in the in the naughty corner sometimes we have to face the wall sometimes we don't get to play with our toys and sometimes we might be told off very sternly by mom and dad they might have a really sad face because we've disobeyed them and that doesn't make God happy but we are children that want to make God happy isn't it so we're going to go over our story again and see what we can learn from what Jonah did who can remind me from the story what did God command Jonah to do did he tell him to build a boat did he tell Jonah to start a birthday party? Or did he tell Jonah to go and preach to the people of Nineveh? He told him to go and preach to the people of Nineveh. Very good. You are doing fantastic listening. Instead of obeying God, what did Jonah do? Did he go and visit his friends and say hello to them? Did Jonah go and play on his tablet because he's got a really fancy tablet and it's interesting? Or did Jonah go on the sea to Tashish? Very good. Jonah went on the sea to Tashish. When 
Jonah was thrown out of the ship into the river. Did Jonah drown? Is it a yes, he drowned, or a no, he didn't drown? He didn't drown. How did God save Jonah? He went in the belly of a crocodile? He went in the belly of an elephant? Or did he go in the belly of a fish? He went in the belly of a fish. Fantastic. Really good listening. When the fish spat Jonah out onto dry land, did Jonah just sit down there and build a nice house? Did he start singing a song or did he go immediately to Tashish? He went immediately to Tashish because that was what God had told him to do. Now, he immediately he repented. And that's so important for us children that even as we get instructions, and we're told things to do, we need to obey our parents. We need to obey them immediately, because if we don't obey immediately, we might get punished and we might get into trouble. Also, we need to obey our parents cheerfully, without grumbling, without being upset or sulking or moaning. God doesn't want us to do that. We need to obey our parents exactly the way they tell us. So if mom says, you can only have one chocolate today, then you don't go and have two or three. We must only have one. Any instructions that we're given, we should obey it the way that they have asked us to follow it. And that is what will make God proud. We're going to do our memory verse review again, just to make sure that everyone remembers. Are you ready, children? Can we say after me again? Children, obey your parents in everything for this pleases the Lord. If we want God to be proud of us, if we want to have lots of big smiles in heaven, then we must obey our parents because that way God is pleased. And when God is pleased, we are happy and we have peace. Anytime we disobey our parents, we make them sad. We also might get punished as well. So we might have time out. We might lose some toy or some game time. And I don't think we want to do that, do we? We want to be safe and sound, so we must obey our parents. I'm glad that you've listened to the story today. And I know that we're going to have lots of stories of good listening, good obedience from today onwards, because we are going to please God, aren't we? We are. So should we say a prayer? Very good. As we close, in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, thank you for teaching me about obedience today. Help me to obey my parents in everything so that I can please you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I'm going to say thank you for listening. Have a great week and keep shining for Jesus. God bless.